Missouri Sports Network, network.com, where everyone has a home field advantage. Presented by Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks, Lyona Labor's Local 663, who reminds us to drive safely in work zones. Those folks want to go home to their families as well. Also presented by Central Bank, Great Southern Bank, Doak Propane. We go now back up to St. Louis, a familiar customer here on the Missouri Sports Network, MICDS head football coach, Fred Bouchard. Coach Bouchard, thanks for your time today. Hey, great to be here, Guy. Thanks for having us. Yeah, you've got, you got a big win last week against the John Burroughs team, played on Saturday. Tell us a little bit about that contest. You know, that's a unique rivalry because whether it's a home or away game, you know, the rotation every other year, it's homecoming for both teams. So uh, it's, it's and and we have a, a weekend of contest against John Burrow. So it's not just uh, football. There's a soccer game, which was a great game, just four hours and volleyball game and field hockey. And so there's all kinds of stuff, varsity JV that's going on that weekend. And uh, it makes for a really pretty cool environment. Um, we were fortunate in the football game. We uh, we were successful against our, our tribal. So that was uh, uh, I'll call that a good day, you know, uh, beating them. Uh, uh, you know, 42-13, I think, was the final score. So it uh, it ended up being a pretty good ball game for the, the Rams. 42-13 to 13 was the final there. And now you've got, uh, you know, coming out of that game, you guys come out of that relatively healthy here as you go into week six? We are. Yeah, we are. We really uh, feel pretty good about where we are in that regard. Um, you know, I, I'm sure, like everybody else, when you're in week six, you have some bumps and bruises. But – for the most part, feel pretty good about um, the guys that we have, uh, um, the guys that we have with us. So uh, um, we'll see. You know what? This is the kind of time of year where you know sickness actually seems to be hitting our team a little bit more than uh, in terms of, uh, of of having anybody out than injury. So uh, um, if we can avoid the the bug here, the the next twenty uh, fifteen hours or twelve hours or whatever it is, it's uh, it'll bode well for us. So now you've got uh, Lutheran North, and you're there. You're at Lutheran North. They come in at 5-0 and as well. Uh, tell us about what you're going to do to come out on top uh, tonight. Well, this is this is obviously a, a great um, opponent. They are uh, they ranked number one in Class 4 in the state. Um, they, you know, they beat earlier in the year the uh, defending state champions in Class 2 in Blair Oaks and Class 5 in Francis Howell. That was a great game and happened to be uh, able to attend that one. Um, they won the last play of the game. So uh, um, they're, they're really an explosive football team. Um, DeCorey Hollis is a quarterback. Uh, he's a junior, but he's got a really vast skill set, not only throwing the ball accurately down the field, but he, he can take off and run and, and just what you'd want for a dual-threat quarterback. So uh, um, they have great receivers um, in, uh, in, in, in Clark and Wells and Barber. They just, they, they're just uh, – Benson, excuse me. They just really are pretty talented, and and they've got a, a really uh, a, a really good line on the defensive line. They put two really large high school football players of the six four six five three hundred and seventy variety kid at uh, inside at their defensive tackles, and they just kind of become huge space eaters for a gap b gap plays. And and you got they're, they're actually pretty good athletes. They move pretty well, and and uh, their feet move pretty well. They use their hands pretty well. And then on the edge, they, they still have that athleticism at the ends and outside linebackers. I really, really like their inside linebacker. Uh, uh, Jefferson is an outstanding football player. And um, I've just, uh, having watched him on film, um, he just makes a, a, he just is an excellent tackler. He has a really good nose for the ball. And when he, he gets to somebody, um, he does a great job getting them to the ground. And, and so, you know, there's a lot of things that Coach Wagner has going on. I think they, you know, it's a good coaching staff that will be well prepared. And, um, you know, in our, my four years here, you know, this is my fourth year here. They're, they're the only team to hand us a regular season loss. So uh, um, we know what we have in front of us and we'll have to, we'll have to be awfully good tonight. What do you feel like uh, the, the Rams are doing right, real, real well right now? Well, your team? You know, we felt like we've been a work in progress. You know, we were had some new starters who kind of had to answer the call. And uh, I just think some of our guys have done a great job elevating their game and, and becoming highly effective in their spots. And we knew we would be pretty decent on defense. Like, that, that, that's where we had a, a good chunk of our front folks up. Uh, Carter Enyard is a 
you know, a Division One talent. Luke Algaier is a junior who's a Division One talent. Peyton Simon, both two linebackers. Um, and Willie Carpenter was an all-conference player. And we run into those guys. We just felt like that. We had the solid core. And while we were learning about ourselves offensively, having replaced 75 touchdowns from a year ago, that we we – knew that we still had a pretty salty defense. So I've been pleased with what our defense and it just seems like our offense is 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 just kind of they they've kind of over the course of the last five weeks just started executing the things we do well and finding our identity and and doing some of those things uh better certainly than they did week one and week two. Coach if I you know later on tonight we post these scores and it's a it's a victory for MICDS or they're gonna be maybe one or two stats that you're going to point at and say, hey, this is why we won this game or this is how we won this game, whether it's penalties, turnovers, and typically those are the easy ones. But yeah. I, I think, I, you know what, I'd look at two things. Um, outside the, the penalties and turnovers, some of those timely things, I, I do think that uh, um, like a year ago they ran the ball effectively against us. And, and uh, um, we, we, you know, we're built to kind of step up and defend the run. So – if they run up and down the field on us, there we're probably having a long day. Um, that that just and it, it, that a year ago they they were able to do that. Um, so so we'll see. Um, we we got a lot to defend when it comes to that. There's a lot of talent and speed on that football team. The other thing I'd look at is is big plays. Like if if and and you know it's an interesting stat that it, you know if they're able to produce you know a half dozen plays that are 20, 30, 40 yards. It's going to be a long day for us. And and on the other side, I think it, it's similar for them. You know, if we're able to, to to run the ball effectively and we hit some big plays, then we become a, a team that's pretty hard to beat. So um, those are those are things I think, and they're kind of a givens. But um, I thought it'd be a little different answer than penalties and turnovers. <laughs> no, it's out, it's outstanding. You know, it's I always I'm intrigued by coaches going into games thinking, okay, this is kind of what we need to do. Just got done visiting with uh, Reese Spring head coach, uh, uh, Andy McFarland. There, here's, he's on his way to Seneca. And, you know, he said last year we went down 21 nothing early. And then we took a 28-27 lead, but we couldn't hang on. We just can't get behind early. And so I'm always interested, especially when you've got the familiarity, you know, of having played the last several years. But, uh, Coach Bichard, I, I greatly appreciate you being generous with your time here today. And uh, good luck uh, this evening. And, uh, go out and get a win, and maybe we can get you on the scoreboard show later tonight. Uh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, we'd love to call about a win. That'd be that'd be that'd make for a really good night against uh, uh, right. any football team. So appreciate all the time. MICDS head football coach Fred Bouchard. As always, the Missouri State Highway Patrol reminds us to take that three seconds and buckle up. It's three seconds that could save your life. Be safe, be smart, and be here tomorrow. <laughs>